Welcome to the Hybrid Geek Installer Training. In this video, we'll walk you through a full hybrid battery replacement for a second-generation Lexus GS450H hybrid vehicle. This process will guide you from interior disassembly to battery replacement and through final reassembly after the test drive. Let's get started. Safety First, before beginning, always prioritize safety. Start by removing the orange safety plug located in the trunk area. To do this, carefully remove the trim covering the panel. Then, lift the handle of the orange safety plug and remove it. Step 1. Remove trunk carpets and panels. Next, begin removing the carpets and side panels in the trunk. On the back, left side of the trunk, you'll find the 12-volt battery. Once you expose the spare tire, lift the four silver clips to reveal 10-millimeter bolts. You'll need to remove these bolts to lift the final piece of trim and panel in the trunk. Once that's done, there are six clips securing the trunk panel near the back seat. Carefully remove these clips and then pull the panel out. This will expose the hybrid battery. Step 2. Remove vent ducts. With the hybrid battery now exposed, we need to remove the lower vent duct. Start by removing the clip, holding it in place. Once the two clips are off, it should come out easily. Next. Move to the top vent duct. Again, remove the clips holding it in place, then lift it off the battery and fan. Once removed, you'll find another vent duct in the back. With everything exposed, lift and remove this duct. Step 3. Disconnect the 12-volt battery. Now move to the bottom left side of the hybrid battery. There's another vent duct held in place by a clip. Remove the clip and unplug the white connector from it. Before you can fully remove the vent, you'll need to disconnect the 12-volt battery. Start by removing the 10-millimeter bolt securing the 12-volt battery bracket. Disconnect both the positive and negative terminals on the battery, being careful not to let the terminals touch each other. For extra safety, tape the ends of the terminals with electrical tape. Before removing the 12-volt battery, don't forget to unplug the temperature sensor located on the back left side of the battery. Once this is done, remove the 12-volt battery. Step 4. Remove hybrid battery. Now that the 12-volt battery is out of the way, we can focus on the hybrid battery. On each side of the hybrid battery, there are two 12-millimeter bolts securing it to the car frame. Remove these bolts to free the battery. Next, you'll see a black negative terminal on the bottom of the battery and two orange positive terminals covered by a shield. Remove the 10 millimeter nuts securing the terminal shield, exposing the positive terminals. Disconnect and remove the nuts from the positive and negative terminals. Again, make sure the terminals don't touch. For safety, tape the terminals with electrical tape. Now, disconnect the fan plug by unplugging the white connector at the end of the black tube wire leading to the fan. With this done, carefully remove the fan from the battery. Step 5. Prepare for removal and installation. Once the fan is removed, go to the bottom right side of the battery, where there is another black tube wire attached to the base frame of the battery. Simply cut the clip to release the wire. Step 6. Remove the back seat seats. Now, let's move to the back seat area of the vehicle. Start by removing the bottom cushion seats. Simply lift them firmly to remove. To continue, remove the backing of the back seats. These are held in place by four 12 millimeter bolts. Once you've removed the bolts, you will also find additional bolts behind the headrest. Lift the headrest, remove the cover, and expose the 12 millimeter bolts behind it. After these bolts are removed, you should be able to lift the backing of the seat up and out. Take care not to damage the seatbelt straps as you work. Step 7. Final steps for battery removal. With the seat removed, you'll now see the metal backing between the trunk and back seat area. There are three more 12 millimeter bolts here. Remove them. Once all bolts and clips are removed, go back to the trunk area and carefully lift the hybrid battery out. Make sure to lay down a blanket or carpet on the floorboard to prevent scratches on the surface. Step 8. Installing the new hybrid battery. Now it's time to install the new hybrid battery. Lift the new battery into the trunk, ensuring it's oriented the same way as the old one was. Reinstall the 12mm bolts securing the hybrid battery to the frame of the car. 
Then, put the backing of the back seat back in place and reinsert the 12 mm bolts. Take extra care to ensure the seat belt straps are properly placed. Next, reinstall the bottom part of the back seat, then return to the trunk area and reinstall the 12 mm bolts securing the hybrid battery. Step 9. Reinstall vent ducts and fan the vent ducts back in position, then install the fan back on top of the battery. Reconnect the fan plug and reinstall the remaining vent ducts. Be sure everything is secure and tightly fastened. Step 10. Reconnect the battery terminals. It's time to reconnect the hybrid battery terminals. Start with the positive terminals. Remember, the terminal with the red tape should be connected on top. Once the positive terminals are connected, attach the negative terminal. Reinstall the positive terminal shield and then reattach the last vent duct on the hybrid battery and in the trunk area. Step 11. Reinstall the 12 volt battery. Now reinstall the 12 volt battery. Secure the bracket to ensure the battery doesn't move while the vehicle is in motion and reconnect the terminals. Step 12. Final check and test drive. With everything back in place, it's time to reinstall the orange safety plug. Before you finish reassembling the rest of the interior, turn the car on, reset any lights and codes, and take the vehicle for a five to eight minute test drive, simulating stressful driving conditions. If any check engine lights appear during the test drive, stop and scan for codes to troubleshoot. If no lights come on, you can proceed with reassembling the interior. Step 13, reassemble interior. Once the test drive is successful and no codes return, it's time to reassemble the interior. Reinstall the rear seats, panels, and trim exactly as you found them. Ensure that all clips, bolts, and fasteners are securely tightened. Great job! Your hybrid battery installation is complete. Just remember, we're not just here to replace batteries, we're here to deliver a professional five-star experience. Always show up looking sharp, speak clearly with the customer, and leave their vehicle in better condition than when you found it. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the Hybrid Geek Installer Team. For more install guides and training videos, subscribe to the Hybrid Geek. Stay safe and keep those hybrids running strong.